Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. morning. Today we celebrate the third Tuesday in the pre-Lenten season, also the final day of the pre-Lenten season. And today the church remembers St. Severian. St. Severian was a bishop of Galilee, and he attended the Council of Chalcedon in 451 and took part in the complete triumph of the Orthodox Christian cause against the heretics. However, on his return home from the council, he was assassinated by a group of heretics at the command of Emperor Theodosius II. So St. Severian, for your fidelity to the faith of, of Jesus and your willingness to even give your life to help people co go to heaven, we ask you to please, please pray for us today. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say one Hail Mary and one Our Father. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I cry aloud to God, cry to God to hear me. On the day of my distress, I seek the Lord. By night, my hands are raised unceasingly. I refuse to be consoled. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you care for us above all other creatures. Free us from all anxiety and turmoil of heart, that we may first seek your kingdom and submit to your reign. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. To keep the laws a great oblation, and he who observes the commandments sacrifices a peace offering. In works of charity, one offers fine flour, and when he gives alms, he presents his sacrifice of praise. To refrain from evil pleases the Lord, and, of, and to avoid injustice is an atonement. Appear not before the Lord empty-handed, for all that you offer is in fulfillment of the precepts. That's the just one's offering enriches the altar and rises as a sweet odor before the Most High. The just one's sacrifice is most pleasing, nor will it ever be forgotten. In a generous spirit, pay homage to the Lord. Be not sparing of free will gifts. With each contribution, show a cheerful countenance and pay your tithes in a spirit of joy. Give to the Most High as He has given you generously according to your means. For the Lord is one who always repays and He will give back to you sevenfold but offer no bribes. These he does not accept. Trust not in sacrifice of the fruits of extortion, 
for he is a God of justice who knows no favorites. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, to the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is judge. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people and I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice and fulfill your vows to the Most High. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and to him that goes the right way I will show the salvation of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. May Almighty God cleanse my heart and my lips, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Peter began to say to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen. I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age. Houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. But many that are first will be last and the last will be first. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our first reading today we hear from Sirach that one who observes the commandments sacrifices a peace offering. And God doesn't want something for extortion. He doesn't want us to try to curry favor and bribe him. No, no, he is a God of justice treats everyone according to their respect and dignity they get as being made in the image and likeness of himself. And each one has different means, so we should give according to our means. Those who have more, give more. Those who have less, give less. But the percentage remains the same. That's why the idea of tithing is such an important idea. We give a percentage of what we have, what we earn, to support the good works of the church or other charities. In fact, if you would like to donate to help our daily mass cause, just click on the link provided in the description, and that will help keep us going for this ministry. But then we can turn to the gospel according to Mark, where Peter says to Jesus, we have given up everything and followed you. We've given up everything and followed you. Again, Peter and the apostles were all in. And Jesus makes this promise that no one who's given up house, brothers, sisters, mother, father, children, lands, could include money for the sake of the gospel, will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age an eternal life in the age to come. As we leave the season of preparation for Lent and embark tomorrow at the beginning of the great Lent, let us be all in with Christ. Let us be all in on giving up everything for the sake of Christ, using only what we need to progress the kingdom of heaven on earth and Jesus' truth that he taught through his life and handed down to us through the church for the last 2,000 years. That's everything that has always and everywhere been taught as Catholic. And for us, maybe recommit ourselves to the fullness of the teaching of the church and bring that forward to those around us, our friends, our family, 
whoever we meet because the only way to heaven is to be all in on Christ and his teachings that he gave through the church. To do anything otherwise risks our eternal life to eternal damnation. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With confidence in our Heavenly Father, who is both kind and merciful, we now make our petitions known to him. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, the body of Christ, that she may continue to grow in holiness and grace through the work of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That God's peace and refuge may surround countries and communities torn by war, violence, and natural and man-made disasters. We pray especially for those in Ohio, both in East Palestine and Bedford, that they may be safe from all the evils that came their way. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family, that we may be one in the goodwill of Christ by supporting the works of the Holy Church. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> For each of us, that God will heal us of the pain of those who have injured us and help us to have care and compassion for them. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the homebound, especially those on our parish prayer list, that the Lord may fill them with his healing and loving presence. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we offer today, deep in the silence of our hearts, for all those who are separated from Christ and his church, that the Holy Spirit may touch them during this holy season of Lent and bring them home for the Feast of the Resurrection, which is our Mass intention today. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed and those who will die today, that God may grant them eternal light, rest, and peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, who forgives all who hope in your mercy, grant us to love as you love, that we may approach on this earth the heavenly perfection for which you prepare us. That's all these things to your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. You satisfy the desire of those who fear you. You hear their cry and save them. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth is given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. For the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, for the benefit of his holy church. Heavenly Father, you provide all that we need. Grant that we who offer you this oblation may experience a foretaste of your glory. We ask us in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. You give us this season of anticipation that takes us from the joy of the Incarnation 
to a penitential mood of fasting and the contemplation of Christ's passion. We prepare to abstain from worldly trappings, open our hearts and minds to a spirit of true contrition and of loving reverence for you. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy Sacrifice of the Mass continues with Eucharistic Prayer 4, which is found on page 88 if you're following along. Blessed are you, Lord of all majesty and King of eternal glory, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. In him your word was made flesh. In him the fullness of your grace was revealed in splendor. In all things he fulfilled your will and glorified your name. He proclaimed your kingdom to us. He broke the power of darkness over us. He took our guilt upon himself. He reconciled us to you and unlocked the new paradise for us. As the way, the truth, and the life, he has revealed your love to us. He humbled himself and became obedient even to death on a cross, and by rising, restored our life. On the night in which he was betrayed, to undergo that suffering which he himself had chosen, he took bread into his hands, and lifting his eyes to you, his heavenly Father, he gave thanks. He blessed the bread, gave it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. When supper had ended, he took the cup and gave thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Together. Your death, Lord Jesus, we proclaim. Your resurrection, we celebrate. Your return in glory, we await. Therefore, Father, we remember his saving passion, his glorious resurrection, his exaltation to your right hand. As we await his coming in the fullness of majesty, we here set forth the sign of our faith in him who offered you the perfect sacrifice and gained for us eternal salvation. Send your Holy Spirit, the giver of life and holiness, upon us and upon these gifts, the bread and wine of eternal life, together. Holy Spirit, come to us, fill us with your gift of grace. Take these gifts from our hands, Lord God, as an acceptable sacrifice through which we offer ourselves to you, so that the bread which we break and the cup which we bless may be a sharing in the body and blood of your Son. May all who receive from your heavenly altar always remain united with you, together with all your saints and chosen ones, with the blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, the mother of our Lord, and with Saint Severian, whose memory we keep this day with your prophets and apostles, with your martyrs and confessors, and with all who stand about your throne in praise and prayer. Bless your church throughout the world. Grant it unity and peace. Renew the earth according to your promise. Remember all peoples and grant that all nations may give you thanks, worshiping and praising your holy name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord, 
Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Let's say together the, the first communion prayer found on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul, embrace you, and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. May the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever. I command you, be firm and steadfast. Do not fear nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Let us pray. Lord our God, when fears threaten us and doubts worry us, be our refuge and our strength. Grant us courage through this holy communion to follow your Son wherever he may lead. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let's join me now in a prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me so love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. And where there's sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Holy Mass today. Uh, I apologize for the background noise. We're getting a new furnace installed um, for the church. Uh, so we're working on that right now. We have. Uh, we hope that you can join us tomorrow at either 9 a.m. or 6 p.m. for our Ash Wednesday Mass. Those times are Central Standard Time. And if you cannot join us in person, you're always free to join us online. We pray that you have a wonderful day. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remain in the state of grace. Fight evil wherever you find it and spread joy wherever you go. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts 
which thou hast made to fill the hearts which thou hast made.